Welcome back to another episode of AN Fishing. Today we're going to be talking about the chatterbait. We're going to be doing a little tips and tricks on how you guys can catch more fish this time of year going into the fall, late summer. If you don't know what the chatterbait is, it's made by Z-Man and there's a bunch of other companies out there that make it that are similar like this. Google Squad makes a quick bait. You can fish it in multiple ways. You don't have to just fish it one way, throw it out, cast it out. What I love to do with the chatterbait is cast it out, slow reel it in, let it sink, slow reel it in, let it sink, slow reel it in. If not catching anything on that, what I do is I just straight reel it in. I test if it's gonna be a slow bite day or if it's gonna be a fast reeling in bite day. So you just judge it on that. Chatterbaits are so easy to catch fish on. You can fish in multiple areas. My favorite areas to fish a chatterbait are always gonna be around structure, trees, rocks, and weeds. Why? Because there's going to be fish hanging in those weeds and structure, looking to ambush, bluegill, perch, any little bait that they can feed on. Because the bass, the pickerel are looking for shade and cover. Talk about the price of a chatterbait. A chatterbait ranges anywhere from $3.99 to $10.99. All you got to do is get the cheaper one and you'll catch fish. You don't have to go and buy the expensive. When it comes to trailers for a chatterbait, what I recommend all the time is going to be a paddle bait, paddle tail swim bait. Why? Because it gives off a lot of action and it looks the most realistic in the water. A lot of people use ribbon worms, use curly tails. Um, they work for you. What I found is you're not going to get as many bites as a paddle tail swim bait or any type of swim bait. It looks more realistic in the water than anything else. When they're feeding, you want to make your bait look like any other bait that's in the lake. Because if you throw something that doesn't look like anything in the lake, fish are most likely not going to bite it. You may get a couple bites, but it's not going to be a lot of bites. and. Uh, it may not be as fun of a day of fishing. This time of year, bass start to move shallow. Not too shallow, but about five to 10 foot of water. Why? Because winter's coming where I'm fishing in uh, upstate New York and they're looking to feed up and bulk up for the winter.